Hello, this is Frank, and you're watching Frank's Home Remodeling Journey. Well, here we go. The front looks really nice, but now I turn my attention to the back. Man, is there a lot of work to do here or what? That pile of dirt looks pretty intimidating, but oh well, it isn't going to move by itself, so best to just get on with it. I moved a lot of dirt yesterday, but didn't quite get the surface prepared for that first course of bricks. Still a lot of digging and throwing around dirt to do. Look at that big pile of dirt. Will I ever get rid of this stuff? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. The ground is nice and level and all tamped down and ready for that all-important first course of bricks. See the batter boards? The line is at the exact right height for the first course, so all I have to do is put the edge of the brick to the line and then plop down the next one. This is one of several improvements that I made in my building process for the retaining wall that makes things go faster. The first course is now all set. And this is the most important thing to get right because in building a keystone retaining wall, because everything follows from it. If it's nice and straight and level, then the bricks go together just like Lego and everything looks really nice at the end. Take your time to get this right. Look at them, lined up like little soldiers. I now have the second and third courses up. I sandwiched some landscape fabric between the first and second courses and have now pulled that over the top so I can backfill. Landscape fabric is important because you don't want the earth leaking out between the joints of the brick and have things growing out of there. It's also important to backfill every second course so that the brick locks together. That was my cat. He runs away pretty quick. I don't think he likes me when he's outside. Wow, all finished. That looks really great. See the circular stepping stones? 
Underneath lurks one of many dry wells that are part of my laundry to landscape gray water irrigation system. I thought I had a lot of dirt, but guess what? There is a lot of backfilling to do, so it looks like I won't have to get rid of any via means of a dumpster. See how the bricks line up straight and are on bond? That's because I took my time getting that first course right. Topping it off with capstone gives it a nice finished appearance. Well, it's on to the inside to get the plumbing hooked up for that laundry gray water system. 